up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, which is the project that I run myself, and I really appreciate you supporting it. Going to add a little modification to the blues scale so we can mix uh, major and minor together. We'll zoom in. I'll show you all about it. Uh, and also, there's a jam track that I released today as well, so you can practice this stuff right over it. So check that out, and let's get to it. All right, so we're going to take the E blues scale, and we're going to modify it by adding what's called the major third. Uh, there's going to be three spots in this open E blues scale that we're going to modify. One's going to be adding this note, which is the fourth on the E. They're all the same note. That same note happens here on the first on the G. And then again on the fourth on the high E. So without that modification, let's look at the blues scale. O3, O1, 2, O2, O2, and then three, and then four, because we're going to add this little extension here. Then three, five on the B, and then three, five on the high E, and then you even have six, seven to add that blues note. You should already know that. Um, this lesson isn't about teaching that. You should already know it, but now we're going to add this little modification. This is going to work best when you're playing a blues. This little modification is really meant to be emphasized over that one chord, over E7, because you can see this note in E7. That note, but the blues scale is that note. So what we're doing is we're just outlining this one chord a little bit. And it's also a big part of mixing the major and minor because we're outlining that major third of the chord. So here's a little run I like to do. We're going to go O, and then middle finger on the third, and then ring finger on the fourth. So we just modified by adding that major third right there. And it's bluesy when you hammer up to it or slide up to it. So O, three, four. And then two right there. Or you can go O, one, two. Everything else is still the same. Now, when we get to the G string, we hammer the first fret, then hit with middle finger on the second. And then what I like to do is slide it up to the third without picking. So, and then I slide it one more half step. And then three, five. And then we're going to hammer from three to four, just like we did here. So we hit three, hammer to four. Then five, six, seven. Here it is again, real slow. Now going down, descending the scale, the trick is every time, you can think of it as the blues scale. And every time you hit a G note, you hit the G note and then immediately hammer up to the G sharp. Like that. Check it out again. Then down 5-3. Then, just that simply the happens again an octave lower. So I'm just going. Middle on four, four, three, two, and then a hammer from open to one with my index. One, 
one, O, three, four on the low E. So now let me go up and then let me go down. One more time. So you just really want to start experimenting, especially over a jam track. And then there's just little devices from there. First, you want to just be able to go up and down with what I showed you. And it's just all about three to four there, one to two here and three to four here. And then just knowing that blues run already. You know, you should already have experience with the straight up blues scale. And then whether you're uh, going this way Or going the other way, especially when you're going down, it has a really cool sound to always hop up from three to four, so, and then back down, one to two hammer, then back down, three to four. And so one little thing that you might have seen me doing when I was just, uh, messing with them, you know, when I started to improvise, is this little double back thing. Um, so right here on the fifth of the high E, five, five, and then the hammer on. Like that. Then down the scale. And so then you can try it right here. Two on the G to two on the D. Then the O1 on the G. So we started right here. And then here's this little piece on the low string 
that lays out really nicely. And then I suggest you go into the jam track that I released at the same time as this video and just start playing over it. Uh, it's this, O, three, four. And then instead of going O, one, two, we just go O, three, four, two, four. And that comes from the E major pentatonic. So you have this little box right here that's got that sweet B.B. King major kind of thing. Oh, three, four, two, four. And then switch to the middle finger right here. Oh, two. Everything else the same? The other thing that's great about blues is if you get lost with this little modification, you can just always fall right back into your, you know, just straight blue scale minor pentatonic. So that is always going to be uh, something to fall back on if you get a little lost. Now, let me just emphasize one more time, try this stuff out and this special modification, which kind of mixes major and minor a bit, try and make that modification when it's over the E7. When it's the A7, straight E blues scale. And then on the turnaround, you can do whatever you want. You can go still stay straight blues scale and then just emphasize. For that E7. So have fun with that. All right, you guys, thanks so much uh, for watching the lesson. I hope it helped you. Uh, also, appreciate you supporting Marty Music. You can even sign the newsletter for some free courses to help you out. And we'll see you real soon. Take care.